I used to live in the East End, but I used to take karate over here back in the late 60s. And it was full of bow lights. There was a student hotel that was, you want to see fist fights every night. Uh, I moved here five years ago. There's no hookers. The church across the street, every Wednesday and every Friday have meals, soups and sandwiches. They have bingo too. <laughs> I don't go. Uh, but the people are kind. Our family doesn't even have a car because we can just get everything here. We can get, we buy our bread here, we go to the grocery store here, we walk everywhere, we bike everywhere. I've always been critical of too much gentrification because uh, we need diversity, we need mixed income, we need, need all of that for a healthy community. And uh, when it gets a, a little bit too chichi, it means that the young people can't buy here anymore, they can't afford to be here and uh, we don't want everybody walking around that's my age. I like this area, it feels like home. I keep coming back to this area even though I moved to the suburbs. I like it around here. You used to live here? Yes. How long ago? Oh, back in 2005. Uh-huh. And why did you leave? To buy a house. <laughs> the community is very friendly and it's uh, walkable. You can walk everywhere. Some people are saying it's getting a bit gentrified. Do you, what, what do you think about that? Um, I think that's partly true. I mean, yeah. a lot of the old, older houses are being torn down to build new houses and the new houses are, are a lot, uh, they're pricier and they're ritzier. And so I think the new families that are moving in are definitely adding to the character. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just uh, the process, you know, it's, it's a, I think it's a natural thing to to want to make a community more vibrant and more livable. In the days that we used to come here to the community center after school, just that stretch, that little walk, my parents were always like a little bit nervous. This is way before the times of cell phones, so yeah. we would uh, duck into the stores when anything sketchy happened and get on the phone and call my mom <laughs> at work. Uh, so it's definitely changed a lot, but um, I have a lot of love for the neighborhood and because I've always grown up here, it's has a special place in my heart, so. Are you happy about the gentrification? I mean, I'm happy about it to a point. The rent is a little bit expensive to maintain here. Um, whereas I'm sure back in my parents' day, it wasn't very expensive to buy a house down here. Uh, so in that way, you know, for young people, it's more difficult to live, but um, just has that small town sort of community vibe and everyone knows each other and in Ottawa, we live in a small city, but this area sort of feels like a small town within the city. I'm originally from Kingston, but I've been uh, in Ottawa for several years, but moved to Hintonburg in 2016. And why did you move to this area? Uh, part of it was for work. I work at the Civic Hospital, so it's close by for me. I can easily walk home. I'm actually just on my way home from work right now. Mm -hmm. uh, the other aspect is we really like the neighborhood. You know, it's uh, a lot of young families, lots of great stuff to do on Wellington, restaurants. And do you feel that the area is becoming a little bit too gentrified? It's, it's certainly a community that's gone through a transition very, very quickly. I mean, the uh, you know, the, the property values have exploded, which I'm not sure is necessarily uh, the best thing um, because, you know, you end up, if a place gets too expensive and unaffordable for people, it really changes the, the makeup of the community and, and what attracted people to that area in the first place. That said, I think that's the reality that we're seeing uh, in a lot of big cities across the country is people's desire to live closer to the core, live more densely, live more walkably, and and the development is following, following what people are interested in. I did live in this area um, in the past and the rents are pretty out of control, um, which is a bit disappointing. Um, since it is such a nice neighborhood, but it really is sort of becoming unattainable for young people and young families, I think, to to stay here. It's the um, the energy in the neighborhood that I love. Maybe there's a lot of musicians, artists, just people with motivation. 